Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my 2021 Model S long range version, and this is the one with the yoke steering. Anyways, we're gonna do a quick full self-driving video. I'm gonna be headed here from Dick's Sporting Goods in Dublin all the way over to my house, uh, which is in Ruby Hill. And I uh, went ahead and typed in the direction. We're gonna just go to the Ruby Hill Community Center uh, as you can see, it's about seven miles away, 14 minutes outside. It's 76 degrees outside, uh, no problems at all. As you can see here on the map, we're gonna be exiting the parking lot here, uh, driving, getting on the highway itself, and then uh, cruising along here on 580. We'll be exiting, hopping on 84, and then headed all the way down uh, directly to the uh, Ruby Hill neighborhood here um, and going in the, the neighborhood. So shouldn't have any problems at all uh, taking that route and driving all the way back towards my neighborhood. So um, anyways, I wanna do this full self-driving test so you guys can see how well the car does, um, how, all, how it interacts with all the different obstacles and everything that occurs with going on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and be shooting this with my GoPro uh, attached to my head and uh, I got a head cam and uh, we'll be able to kind of watch all the different interactions and looking around. Hopefully I won't have to interact with uh, the yoke too often as we uh, reach our destination, but that's what all the commentary is for. So you guys can see how well the car does at the stop sign and how well it does in uh, with the traffic that's going on with all the people traffic and everything that's happening. So let's go ahead and get started and see how well we do here. Okay, here we go guys. So we're about to get started here. You can see uh, we've got the car all ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and creep forward and I'm going to go ahead and do the double tap on the yoke uh, so that we are in full self-driving. So let's see how well it does here. So the car uh, obviously sees that other Tesla there, so it's gonna see how well it does. It's gonna stop here, uh, and all the cameras are gonna register on the car, so it's gonna be looking around, making sure that it can go forward. It does have its left turn signal on right now, which it did all by itself, so it's gonna go ahead and jump out here, and then it should be uh, taking a right here at this stop sign, so it's gonna stop looking around for anything and it's going to go ahead on its own here so hopefully in this full self-driving test i'm not having to interact with the car too often so far i haven't had to do that yet no feet on the brake or accelerator right road. although i am carefully monitoring it so we got a green light here it's going to go ahead and turn staying in the lane no problem at all and let's see how it does up here Okay. Take the interstate 580 East Ramp on the right towards Stockton. No problem at all. So it's just eyeballing the traffic here. And slowing down. It's going to handle this turn onto the highway. Again, full self driving works really, really well when, especially when it's not raining and there's no problems, it will accelerate, go up to the proper speed limit. You'll see the max speed limit here adjusting here and there, depending on the roads we're at and what the speed limit is. Sometimes I do need to interact with it, speed it up or slow it down so that I am going with the common speed of the other cars. You can see we're going 55 miles an hour now and we just got on the highway. You will see the screen blinking from time to time. That's where I just need to tap the steering wheel um, or yoke, steering yoke, to make sure that um, the car knows I, I'm alive, I'm interacting with it. They do that as a precaution to make sure no one falls asleep or isn't paying attention. So when they do flash that on the screen, all you have to do is touch uh, the yoke steering wheel briefly uh, to let it know that you're fully alert. So just cruising along here at 65 miles an hour. We're gonna be exiting here in just a couple minutes. You can see on the map, if you wanna follow along there, you can see we're just driving along here. 
and we're going to be exiting in 1.1 miles so it shouldn't be too difficult I'm going to go ahead and increase the speed up to 70 and uh, you'll see we are going to get a lot closer to the car in front of us but it shouldn't be a problem at all um, as it will slow down so full self-driving uses all the cameras around the car to get a visual um, idea of what's happening and then the um, AI part of the car uh, makes all the decisions based on what it's actually seeing so you can see we got a car merging in here okay he did hit his blinker let's see what the Tesla autopilot does uh, it is not okay it's confused on what to do it's trying to decide what to do okay it just went ahead and um, and you can see the right turn signal is on now so we're gonna be exiting here and we should be creeping up here and then turning right on uh, Highway 84, which is going to be at the light here at the top of uh, the intersection. So, so far the car's done really well. It wasn't quite sure what to do with that pickup truck trying to merge in. Uh, I think if, it, if I were driving, I would have slowed down and let him merge in. But in this case, uh, the car decided to just drive past him. So you can see when there's cars in front of us, um, take a look at the screen here, but there's cars in front of us, so uh, we can't go. You can see all the red lights visually um, put into the screen here. This is basically what the computer sees. So it sees the cars driving by, sees the cars lined up here in the left lane, as you can see here, and then the cars in front of us um as well and obviously the red light when those lights turn green they'll, they'll actually turn green on the computer as well and uh, you can see the speed limit max limit is 45 miles an hour which is what highway 84 is now that's not usually a normal safe speed for 84 everyone does tend to drive at least 60 to 65 miles an hour uh, so you'll see how that goes. Okay, got a little confused there, so it slowed down, but then realized it was okay. So it's going to go ahead and uh, speed back up. And uh, we are going to hit another traffic light here coming up here, as you can see. And we are going to slow down here. And again, the car is making all the decisions on its own. So I am not interacting with it at all. It's doing a great job in full self-driving. None of this is too complicated for the car to figure out. Um, again, it looks at you know all the traffic lights, it looks at the cars, it looks at any people walking by, and it the AI makes all the key decisions it needs to make um, with what is happening in the real world here. So, um, lights green, the car in front of us is moving, so the car is going to go ahead and start going forward. Now, I am going to go ahead and put the max speed limit up to uh, 60. Um, now, it's not, if the car in front of me is going slower than that, then it's going to just, um, you know, slow down. So it's not going to go faster than that. But normal cruising speed does tend to be a little bit faster. Okay, so it's going to be slowing down here. As you can see, there's a number of cars in front of us. Um, one thing that the autopilot will do and it does a great job of is if the car in front of you is going slow and the lane on the left of me is free and there's no one in front of me the car will move turn on the blinker in the left lane will move into the left lane and then it will accelerate and go past the car in front of you so it does do a really good job of understanding that and understand that it can go faster in another lane. So it will accelerate, move into that lane, hit the blinker, and then we'll move past the car and then sometimes move back into this lane. So the AI has been programmed with all those enhancements and features, which I find just outstanding. So um, let's go ahead and uh, continue down the road here. You can see we have a big truck in front of us. A lot of times I just stay into this lane myself when I'm driving on here without full self-driving and it's really not a problem. Okay, getting here to the traffic light, no cars in front of us, full traffic light, it will stop. You can see the max speed limit has actually moved um, back to 50 miles an hour again. 
Um, it does that from time to time. You can see their speed limit is projected on the road there. It's a little faint, but um, it is projected on the road there at 50. So again, if I wanna change the max, I'll just spin this wheel up. Uh, you can change these settings under the settings, but I have it where I can control the speed. And you can see the white car in front of us is actually going faster than 60. It's probably doing 62 to 65. Um, but I'm keeping it at 60 uh, for now while we're in full self-driving. You can increase your speed about 15 miles above the speed limit, but that's really about it. Um, and uh, as we're going past these cars, uh, the AI is also looking at those cars as well as well as the cars in front of us, of course. But this is one of the reasons you have all the cameras around the cars. Um, now, those of you that may not know, there is a new full self-driving um, computer that's being released very soon on the most recent Teslas. This is gonna be 4.0, which is gonna have an increase in hardware processing power and camera technology on the car. Uh, the camera technology, they're doing a massive upgrade um, to, to upgrade those cameras to actually 5K cameras uh, or 5 megapixel, uh, very, very um, much higher resolution on the camera itself where um, the current cameras are only like 1.5 megapixels. So uh, it's harder for the computer to understand things at a lower resolution. At the higher uh, uh, resolution, um, it will it will do a much easier way of understanding certain things like cars, trucks, people. Um, it's got its left, right cameras, forward cameras, and rear cameras. But um, one of the things I notice about the side cameras, which is very pivotal, is when you're turning left or right, it actually will look through those left cameras to process the speed of cars coming at you, knowing if there's enough time for the car to take a right turn. And so it looks to the left and it looks to the right to make sure and it processes all that information in real time, which is really nice. So um, we're gonna be taking a right up here and um, we should be getting in the right lane. Turn signal, there it goes, automatic. And it should slow down a little bit to take this turn. I have to make sure that it is gonna turn. Sometimes with full self-driving, it will turn too sharp or not sharp enough. And so you gotta be really careful with that. Okay, now it's gonna try to go through the back way, which is not a problem here it's got some obstacles you can see some cones here so the car has to make sure it understands that this is actually a good road to test i'm just hovering the steering even though i'm not going to interact with it unless i have to but just to be cautious um, this is a winery here and this is a back uh, actual service entrance but for some reason google maps always gets the entrance into our neighborhood wrong this is something that I can enter because I have a um, tag on my car that actually allows me to enter uh, multiple different gates where the gate will come up automatically. So it's gonna be creeping down this road here. Driving um, doesn't see the gate. So we have to be very careful here. Um, and let's see how well it manages this. Um, I need to make sure it's not going too fast as, yeah. 500 feet. Turn left All right. onto east I had to interact drive. with it here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and re-engage the autopilot. So again, yeah, sometimes the car doesn't like the uh, gates or doesn't understand the gates. So that's the only time I had to interact with it so far. All right. So we've actually meet, met the destination. I'm going to disengage with autopilot. I'm going to be driving up to my home. But uh, for those of you that have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I'm gonna do a number of these full self-driving videos so you guys can really get a realization of what it's like to uh, be in full self-driving. It's got a number of uh, key perks and some downsides to it, but the more you know about it, the more you can kind of control how well the car does. Overall, I've been pretty happy with it. The only times I see it not working as well is when there's a lot of rain uh, going on, but other than that, it's working really well. 
Uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the video. If you have any questions or comments about full self-driving, please put them below. More than happy to answer any of those for you. But thanks again, guys. Again, only had to interact with it once, so not too bad at all. Thanks again for joining, guys. Take care.